we do need to leave the European Convention on Human Rights. Our Home Secretary actually saying the UK should join Russia and Belarus as the only European countries outside the Human Rights Convention. And now reports say Rishi Sunak, backed by several ministers, is considering the proposal. It's unthinkable. How is the country sleepwalking into this? The European Convention on Human Rights protects the right to a fair trial, freedom of assembly and expression, the right to participate in free elections, freedom of religion, freedom from discrimination, the right to privacy, freedom from torture and degrading treatment. So in that context, listen again. We do need to leave the European Convention on Human Rights. And it gets worse. Any threat to leave the ECHR risks breaking the Good Friday Agreement, which expressly requires the United Kingdom to have the Convention be directly enforceable in Northern Ireland. Both the Home Secretary and Prime Minister know this. We clearly have a problem with human rights law in this country that is making it difficult for us to achieve our objectives. Well, clearly the Prime Minister does. His anti-strike bill will rob millions of UK workers of their democratic right to withdraw their labour, forcing them to work against their will and allowing them to be sacked if they refuse. His public order bill will treat peaceful protests like knife and gang crime. His Bill of Rights bill will reduce our human rights protections and significantly reduce government accountability. And this is what he thinks of lawyers working tirelessly to uphold human rights. Exploited by lefty lawyers. Lefty lawyers. Lefty lawyers. He's actually jumping on the Johnson and Patel bandwagon. Lefty human rights lawyers. The lefty lawyers. And he shamelessly does it despite Johnson and Patel having been warned using dangerous language like this could put the lives of lawyers and court staff at risk. And it just gets worse. His planned bonfire of retained EU law will expose UK workers to an Americanized hire and fire culture that makes work more insecure and dangerous. His plan to deliberately smash up decades of settled legal principles and case law will leave UK workers in an employment law wasteland. And he sells it all with this. We stand up for hardworking Britons. Since when was treating peaceful protests like knife and gang crime, stripping the public of human rights protections and robbing workers of their fundamental democratic right to strike standing up for hard-working Britons? The country must wake up before it's too late.